Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We have Barney and Moore with us. As always, just hit the raise your hand button and we will get you called on to ask your questions. Luciano, you can go ahead and get started. Hey, Barney, I hope you're doing well and thanks for your time. You're averaging the 11th highest amount of yards per pound in the nation. What impact would you say Penn State has had on your development as a player? Yeah, I think everything from just mental, physical, um, emotional, all those barriers, um, it's been great. As soon as I've gotten here, strength staff's done a great job. Um, new coach, Lord was great when I was here. Coach Collins has come in um, and done an amazing job kind of putting the scheme together and making sure that I feel comfortable when I go out there. So that's been great for us. Um, I think it's all the little things that a lot of people don't think about, you know, having trust in all your team, having trust in the people that are in front of me and going from there, that makes my job a lot easier. That allows me to perform and allows everyone else to perform as well. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Barney. Uh, so obviously I barely know you, but from the time that, uh, we've uh, had to get to know you a little bit um, over the season. You seem to be seem to have a very uh, fun loving uh, and also a laid back personality. Like it doesn't seem like much would phase you. Would you say that that's kind of an accurate description of you? And if so, where do those traits come from? Yeah, I'm a very control the controllable and go with the flow, but I'm also a very kind of like what's meant to be is up to me type of person. Um, my mother's always kind of been don't sweat the small stuff. And that really is kind of where I've come come to be, I feel like, as a, as a person. Um, there's a lot of things that, especially just throughout my journey, that have kind of been uncontrollable, you know. So make the most out of everything. Just enjoy it. I mean, there's so many people that would kill to be in my position, kill to be in a, a position like anyone else on this team. And I feel like you, you just start to appreciate the little things. And, and it just makes the whole entire journey experience so much better. Mark Wogan-Rich. Hi, Barney, thanks for your time today. After Saturday's game, you talked a little bit about how many times you've moved in your life. I assume that's one of the uncontrollables um, that you've had. How many different places have you lived? And are your parents still in Switzerland now? Yeah, so... I was born in Amsterdam. From Amsterdam, we moved to upstate New York, Rochester. From Rochester, we moved to Pennsylvania, uh, Bucks County. Um, and then as soon as I went to, basically as soon as I went to Colgate, right before I left, I knew my dad was probably going to be moving overseas to Switzerland. So my family moved to Switzerland. Um, and then it's kind of as soon as I hopped in the transfer portal and started talking to Penn State and then committed here, my dad was like, yeah, I got to get back to the U.S. Um, that was kind of like he went and spoke to his bosses. And it just it just worked out through his network that someone he knew had a job here for him. So they're in Chicago right now. A um, bunch of different houses in between in different areas. But it, it's been, you know, that it's again, it's one of those controllable things for some people. You know, I'm 23. I've lived in three different countries. I've got citizenship in different areas. And to be quite honest, I feel like that's kind of shaped me into who I am. You know, it's. It's, it's an experience that not many people my age have. Andrew Destin. Barney, I'm curious through four games, uh, what areas do you think the special teams units have thrived in? And then what areas do you think you guys can still improve? Yeah, so I think obviously, I think we've been doing great on punt. And I think we've been doing great all over the board, to be honest with you now. That doesn't mean we can't improve. That's our goal every single week, right? Our goal every single week is to go one and oh and improve from what we did the week before, regardless of how the outcome is. Um, so again, every every single week we're all striving to get better, not just me, not just the coaches, not just the players. We're all striving to get better in each and every way. Um, and you know, the next week you're asked the same question, it'll be the same answer. Next week we're gonna strive to get better and keep doing because just because we did good on one unit and might not do as great on another unit doesn't mean we're still not getting better in every single phase. Daniel Gallon. Barney, you've kind of talked about the, you know, the difference in being in, at an FCS program versus being a, a Penn State in the Big Ten. Um, I was wondering if you could kind of describe what some of those, you know, concrete differences are and, and how those play, uh, you know, into your development and, you know, how you've been able to improve at Penn State. Yeah, um, I think for starters, Penn State, the Colgate, uh, 
I feel like the fans at Colgate is like your parents. It's like high school. And then here there's what a hundred and probably 7,000 more people that show up to these games than there is. So there's that little difference. Um, really the, the biggest thing when I first noticed I came here was like facilities, availability of resources, stuff like that. Um, I had one strength coach for, I think like 17 teams at Colgate. So in terms of like strength program and stuff, like you're doing the best you can, obviously things are different based on resources at school, but I mean, that's a huge difference. I came here and I was like shocked that there's like apples in the fridge and there's, you know, there's drinks that are there 24 seven. So you're never hungry. You're always have access to nutritional supplement, like nutritional resources, stuff like that. Um, I think that's been the biggest resource, the biggest difference for me. Um, and re it's really like facilities, stuff like that, that I think makes Penn State great, makes Penn State like different from other places. And then the coaching staff, it's different, obviously. We have analysts here. We have coaches here. We have so many different resources that you just don't have at the FCS level, to be honest with you. It's, and it's most of it's like a budget thing. And most of it's just a compliance thing as well, because it's different rules based on different uh, different areas. Nolan Wick. Hey, Barney. So you mentioned the uncontrollables and living in so many different places. How have those experiences helped prepare you for where you are right now? Yeah, I think kind of what I mentioned earlier is going with the flow is is kind of where I've developed all of that from. I know at first you kind of like like when you're younger and you're like, oh, your parents are moving. It's kind of just like, oh, like that sinks. Like you're moving away from all your friends and it's kind of all you know when you're younger, if that makes sense. But you never really know how like any of it's going to turn out. Um, so at the time it might seem like bad, but later on it might seem like great. Like when my parents were going to Switzerland, I was kind of like at first, like, oh, it kind of stinks. Like, probably not going to see my parents that much. But if you haven't gone to Switzerland yet, like, that's one of my favorite places I've ever been to in my life. Like, it is completely different in terms of, like, every factor. Um, so, I don't know. I think, like, that's just, like, shaped me into this, like, kind of just, like, enjoy the journey and go with the flow mentality, if that makes sense. Joe Smeltzer. So, Barney, you've really become a fan favorite already this season, and that skyrocketed after a Saturday's game. How much of the support from Penn State fans, whether it's social media or in person or anywhere else, have you gotten to see? Um, and what has that meant to you? Yeah. Um, so, to be quite honest, I try not to let everything get to my head because with good news is great and bad news, it'll also – it's not great, so it goes both ways. Um, I kind of try to like stay off of Twitter because Twitter kind of, it goes both ways, right? If you do really good, everyone wants to be there. If you do really bad, everyone still wants to be there, but in a different manner. So I'll stay off of Twitter for the most part. I'll probably go on like Wednesday or Thursday just to see if like someone, one of my friends sent me something on Twitter, but otherwise I kind of stay off. My parents love it. My parents, like, I'm surprised my dad still does his job to be honest with you. Because my dad will send stuff in like our family group text message and it'll just be like the different reports you guys put out. Um, but it's been great. I mean, there's people that even like my mom was saying the other day, there's people she just hasn't heard from in a while that have just reached out and they're just like happy for you, which is great. Um, so I'm sure it's been really, really good. Um, but I try to kind of just like distance myself from all of that. Max Rao. Hey, Barney, I appreciate your time. Um, at least through four games here, you seem like the next in a pretty long line of successful Penn State punters here. I mean, if you go back to Blake and Jordan, what do you think the secret to that is? Um, I, I honestly think the secret to that is if so, we have like our core values here. I'm sure you guys have heard that. And like, if you want to actually invest yourself into it, it kind of shapes you into a person. Um, so you don't just have like Blake and Jordan and you're not just like lucky. And then it like keeps happening, if that makes sense. So there's obviously something we're doing here. I truly think like there's a work ethic to it. Like if you look at Blake, I, I spent good, a good amount of time talking to Blake. If you, if you like talk to Blake and look at what Blake does, it's a work ethic thing. Like Blake will tell you to your face. He thinks he outworks everybody. It's the same thing with Jordan. And it's the same thing with me. Like, I think I outwork everybody. And that just like having that mentality of, oh, like someone could be doing this right now. I need to outwork them and get better and compete with myself and compete with them. 
and you keep adding all these core values into it, you're you're building something. And that's truly where I think it stems from. Mark Wogan Rich. You there, Mark? All right, let's go, Daniel Gallen. Marty, this is, <clears throat> I think, a little bit more nuts and bolts with uh, the special teams unit, but for Sanders' long field goal, uh, you weren't the holder out there. Is that just a, a righty-lefty thing or different units? Um, you know, Can you shed some light on that? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I've held right-handed my whole entire life and my whole college experience. Going to the left side is a muscle memory, just combustion for me, to be honest with you. Um, so we were kind of just screwing around at practice one day. I was like, ah, oh, Chris, you just hold. And I was like, wait a second, like I, we could actually get you good at holding. So it kind of just worked out that way. Um, and it's great. It's really great because it's getting Tyler Zansky experience out there. So right now, Tyler's our number two long snapper and getting experience for these younger guys is great. We've had a great um, time getting across the board, defense, offense, special teams, just getting guys experience that might not otherwise get experience. So I think that kind of just like plays into like a great success for all of us. Um, but yeah, it's a little different just because of muscle memory and like you always hold the backhand. I'm always, always used to holding with the left side versus the right side. Um, so it kind of just worked out for the better for everyone. Okay, we have time for two more. Mark, now that you're unfrozen, why don't you go first? Thanks, appreciate it. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Barney, you mentioned um, being born in the Netherlands. I assume then that makes you a Dutch citizen. What are the benefits that come with that to how and why punting? Where'd that come from? Yeah, uh, so the citizenship. So I have a UK citizenship or yeah, UK citizenship, uh, Dutch by birth and a US naturalized. So a little bit all over the board. Um, punting, to be honest with you, it was what? I was playing soccer like eighth grade in, in eighth grade and I was looking at football practice and they had no one to kick a ball. I was like, oh, I did this like peewee. I'm like, I'll probably do it again. And then I guess... I went to high school and I was like, oh, I'm not bad. And then I finally decided like, oh, I should probably do this. Like I probably a better chance of going to college for it. Um, I actually tried to quit in like junior year. I tried to quit and I just like, I don't know why. I think my mom does that like reverse psychology where she's just like, yeah, you're probably not for this. And it just makes me mad. And then that's like how you don't quit. She just has that way with us. Um, but I tried to quit and my coach was just like, okay. He called me back right before the season started junior year. I was like, just come, you got nothing to lose. If you don't like it, great. And then I did well that year, did well senior year and kind of the rest is history. But it's, uh, again, it's been, it's been a weird journey. Like I think about it all the time. It's been like, there's so many things where it could have just been over and been done, but you know, I'm enjoying it. I guess I'm enjoying the reflection part of it now. We'll do final question to Joe. Hey, Barney. Uh, so you mentioned earlier about the differences between between Colgate and Penn State, and there are plenty of them. Was there a specific moment you can think of where I guess, like to quote the Wizard of Oz, like a Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore moment where you kind of realize that you're just, you know, in kind of a different college football universe? Yeah. Um, like every single game last year, this, to, be, to be quite honest. Um, last year, obviously, as I said before, like I didn't come in and expect to be behind – the, basically the number one punter in the country. Um, but I think that was really huge for like my development because I got to basically enjoy every single experience last year without like having any stress, which sounds like very silly, but it's also like huge for a person's like mental. Um, when I got here, I mean, seriously, it was kind of like walking. I'd never been here before because it was COVID. So it's not like I got an official visit. Or anything like that when you walk into a building and you're lost that's kind of like you're like oh wow this is big this is big time or like when they had we have mucho i don't know we have mucho which is like how we get snacks and stuff and like that was kind of like i called my mom and i was like you're not gonna believe this like we get mucho money like this is crazy like i didn't get any of that at colgate so i think that was kind of like my like oh this is big time football now awesome thank you barney thanks everyone thank you Thanks, Barney. Thanks, Barney. Thank you.